welcome to my video of the Grand Hyatt in Berlin. So let's start with getting here. You arrive at the main station, you can get a train from the lower platforms and it's only one stop to post Dammerplatz. And then from there, it's a very short walk. I would say you're gonna do that walk in about two to three minutes and you're there. So coming from post Dammerplatz, you'll be arriving around the corner through the side entrance. Here we are at the main entrance and if you was coming by taxi, this is where you'd end up. So we go through the revolving door and the first thing you'll notice is the the, the modern sculptures, they're, they're all around the hotel. It, it adds a nice touch. And then we arrive at the lobby. Lots of comfortable seating in the middle. The front desk is on the left. Check-in was a breeze. All the staff were playing the A-game. And although I had a bit of confusion getting into the room, they were really helpful and gave me someone to come up with me and show me how to get into the room. Okay, this is room 641 at the Grand Hyatt Berlin. What have we here? Um, a few switches there. We've got the uh, hotel plan up there. Uh, mirror on that side. And uh, we'll do the bathroom in a bit. Um, just to shelf here I've literally got in about five minutes ago um, I didn't mess the room up too much but there it is in all its glory really nice I'm gonna guess this is about 40 to 45 square meters uh, if you include the bathroom space the, f the, the ceilings are, are quite high Uh, we got table. So you've got a phone there. Um, you've got a coffee machine and nice coffee table. Uh, decent sofa. It's a bit firm, but it's all right. That bed is seven foot. Uh, just coming up to 180 centimetres. It's, it, it's quite firm, but it feels comfortable at the same time. Uh, these pillows, now these pillows, this material is really nice. It's a really nice touch. Um, and the... The, 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 the feel of the pillows, um, they've got the, just the right amount of uh, bounce in them. Those are absolutely fantastic, because uh, I know some hotel pillows are a, a bit crud. crud. Uh, you've got some light switches there. Oh, got plenty of water over here. And then the bathroom. So you've got the aircon controller up there, some switches. You got uh, the shower bit. It's nice and big. You got a really nice deep bath. I did measure it, that is 45 centimetres deep. And you got the toilet. Um, that toilet <laughs> is really low. So if you've got um, any disability or anything, that's gonna be a problem. Uh, oh yeah, you got the wash basins. Some nice uh, soaps and pleasantries. 
and then you've got the closet which you've got an iron and then you've got an umbrella of the ironing board uh, and the storage oh you've got <laughs> loads of stuff in there yeah brilliant let's close that okay oh we've got the volume control there oh yeah hair dryer under there um yeah this is this is really really nice So yeah, the, the bathroom's the bathroom's got two doors, so you can just walk around. Yeah, this is uh, this is brilliant. Well, just one thing I've missed. So <laughs> I just saw this right in front of me. So um, glasses, you got nuts there, and you got a safe. Uh, not too large, but it allows your valuables. And then what we got there? Oh yeah, um, some stuff for tea and, tea and uh, coffee. Uh, oh, there's your cups. And there is actually a kettle. And mini bar. So you've got some pleasant trees in there. Uh, some premium chocolate. Uh, I should imagine it's quite expensive. Uh, that TV is a 55. I've measured it. Uh, and then that brings us to... So this is a camera I've set up. Uh, time lapse it's my old uh, DJI um, 2 so you got sort of a bit of activity down there on the roads and beyond those yellow buildings is the park okay here is the Grand Club Oh, you got to put it. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> I was trying to work out how to open the window. Yes, everything is fine, sir. Yeah, fantastic. Okay, tell it to you. So, if you'd like somewhere a little less public to frequent, yeah. here is the Grand Club. Now. Here is a massive array of drinks. You're yeah, very well catered for here. The coffee machine does all the great choices. The staff were playing that A game. I really can't fault them. Really brilliant service. And we have some pleasantries. So you got some uh, different styles of seating here nice little sort of uh, little enclaves and then to watch TV you have a semicircle comfortable sofa usually when I go to hotels you buzz and then you push the door but you can't do it with this one you've got to actually push uh, as you buzz so 
I'm going to barge it with my shoulder. So I did another video of the room the next day in different light using my iPhone and I found it a lot easier to use the iPhone than I did the DJI Pocket 3. So I was mistaken. I, I did think this was a standard room. It's not. It's a junior suite, 48 square metres, and that is 517 square feet. So I thought I'd do another room review today with the iPhone because my opinion of the bed totally changed overnight. I've got to say this is the most comfortable bed I've ever slept in. It's just amazing. It's quite firm, but it's also very comfortable at the same time. Those pillows, they're just simply amazing. I've got to ask uh, where they got them from. The overall construction of the, the, the pillows, the, the give in them is just absolutely perfect. The pillowcases, it feels like a, such a high thread cotton. They're, they're the most luxurious pillowcases I've ever felt. They are just simply amazing. Oh, I've had the best night of sleep I've, I've ever had in my life. I'm, I'm just amazed. So what I'm going to do is do a quick measurement. So that bed is 173 centimetres. That is, I hope I've got it right, yeah, 173 centimetres, that is six foot eight. It is, from the ground, <coughs> it is 65 centimetres high, and the lengths, I know my feet were overhanging, but I'm six foot five. So, understandable. So, it is, it's two metres. Yeah, two metres, two metres long. Just send me questions in the comments and I'll answer anything that I haven't covered. How to get in the room. Yeah, you've, you've basically got to have two hands free. You've got to buzz the pad and push the door at the same time. Um, normally, the, all the rest of the hotels that I've been in, you can you can buzz you can buzz the key and push the door like about maybe one two seconds later and it's still active. But with this one, you've got to push at the same time. This goes for the the lift elevators. You've got to do the same. So. Breakfast here is amazing. They've got one rarity amongst hotels, and that's crispy bacon. You, it's really hard to find a hotel with crispy bacon. Really nice sausages. They look like rose, rosemary potatoes.
before I leave you with a time lapse, here's some food I had on my previous trip. And the club sandwich, absolutely amazing. The, the curry versed with these really, really uniquely shaped fries, absolutely amazing. And in room service, I had the burger and it was absolutely delicious. Mm -hmm.